guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I have another request for you all and this particular video is going to be on how to create a really vivid contrast between warm and cool colors. Now I've already sort of done something similar before but it was not as strong of a contrast I guess. If you go back and have a look at the video that I did before it's more how to get warmth in the skin tones and then like cooler tones over the top of that. And this particular video is going to be just working in both warm and cool colors into the photograph in general. Uh, this is actually a bit inspired by D Designs, who is a photographer on Instagram. I'm not quite sure of their full name, um, but this was a request from one of my viewers on how to get those sorts of tones into your photographs. So mine's not exactly the same, but um, I think these will work best on images where you do have light similar to this, so golden light or if you've got artificial lighting. Um, anything where you've got a bit of warmth in it, this will probably work a little bit better. Okay, so to get started, we're going to add a few solid colors. So the first step will be adding this solid color, which is 171845. So we're really trying to work in the blues first and the cooler colors into the photograph. So we're going to set this color to soft light at 19%. Okay, so that's just really darken the photograph a little bit, giving the shadows in the photo a little bit more of a blue tone. And then we're just going to get up another solid color. And this one will be 363-94F. Press OK. This one's a little bit lighter again, but we're going to set this one to lighten at 47%. So any of the really dark shadows in the photograph, this layer is going to fill those in and give it more of a bluish tone as well. So it's kind of a little bit of layering that we're doing here with colors. Now we're going to bring up a curves layer and we're going to change the RGB first. So the first few points we're going to mark in are 13 and 0. And the next point will be 16 and 19. And the next point will be 82 and 67. And the next one will be 153 and 113. And then 228 and 208. And the last one will be 247 and 255. Okay, so that's what we've done for the RGB. So that has just changed the brightness in the photograph. We've got a little bit more brightness in the skin tone and just a little bit more contrast overall. Now we're going to go back to the same layer and change the red channel in this. So we're going to map out the points 10 and 0 for the first one, 51 and 53, and 130 and 121. And then 210 and 200. And last one is 247 and 255. So with the red channel, we've really um, given the warm colors in the photograph a little bit of a lift and given the image overall a little bit more warmth, especially on the skin tone. Uh, but we're gonna change it a little bit more. So we're going to go to the greens and then we're going to map out 94 and 90 just in the middle. So, so that's just lowered the reds a little bit and made it a little bit um, more neutral overall, I guess. So now we're going to move on to a selective color layer. So we're gonna bring that up and we're gonna change the reds first and the first number will be minus 10 for cyan, plus 13 for magenta, plus 37 for yellow, and zero for black. So already that's just kind of given the warm colors a little bit more uh, of a yellow tint. 
uh, because we want more yellow I think in this than red because we really want the two contrasting colors to be yellow and blue for this particular image okay and going back to adjustments we will go down to cyan now and this one will be minus 17 for cyan so that's just bringing a little bit more of the cyan out of the photograph and we're going to do a few more adjustments on top of that so we'll go to the magentas and minus 74 in magenta so that will get rid of a lot of the pinkish kind of tones in it so we really have those yellow tones and blue tones in the image and then black we will change the cyan to plus 35 so we're going to really get the blues into the shadows of the photograph now magenta will be plus 5 minus 5 for yellow and zero for black. So we've kind of upped the, the blues a little bit in the shadows as I said before and now you can see the contrast between the yellow and blue in the photograph. It's kind of almost like a bluish green tint. And then we're just going to do one last adjustment and that's going to be a levels. So we'll just bring that up and we'll bring this slider over to 11 just to give the image a little bit more contrast and bring this last slider over to 252. Okay, so there we go. We've got a bit of a contrast between two colors in the photograph. I think the main thing to focus on is going to be if you've got that one warm color in the photograph, whether it be the light, whether it be an object, remember to up those colors. So wherever that might be in the photograph and in the shadowed areas of the photograph, you want to be changing that as well. So I guess not working too much with the midtones of the image, but you can kind of tweak them a little bit, I guess. So we're just going to take a snapshot now. And obviously for these tones, they are quite strong. So you might need to work on some bits like this that go overly, you know, blue or overly tinted, I guess. Um, so yeah, you might just need to tweak those a bit. But anyway, we've taken our snapshot now. So we'll just go back to the original. So this is the original and this is the finished product. So you've really got that contrast coming in now. So original and finished product. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I fulfilled this request properly. Um, it was actually quite hard to do. It's a little bit harder than what it looks to figure that out at first, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will hopefully have some more videos up soon. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.